movie review for The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. Uh, directed by John Cassavetes and written by him. A movie about Ben Gazzara, who is Jackie Treehorn in uh, The Big Lebowski. One of the reasons I watched this movie. Um, he He's the star of the movie, and he runs a nightclub. It's like kind of burlesque. I mean, really, for one thing, there's a lot of attractive women in this movie. Definitely. <laughs> there's there's not a lack of them. Uh, a lot of hot women in this movie. He runs a nightclub. Burlesque. It's kind of like a strip club, but they... I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like an old school, like 19... You see like a 1920 or something. Or less, they're in like lingerie. Uh, there's a guy on the microphone. What is that guy's name? I think that guy was in um, the, the guy in the mic, and he like has a fake mustache, and he's kind of like a comedian. Um, I think he's in Devil's Rejects, but uh. So he runs this place and um but he's got a problem because he is a he's a gambling addict. He you know is not good at gambling, it seems. Uh he he owes the mob money. And then in the beginning of the movie, uh he goes out on a night on the town with some of his uh strippers or whatever. I mean, you know, he probably sleeps with them all. I mean, he's dating one of them. He like he make they make that clear, and uh, he t he takes them all out. I think three girls um, to uh, kind of a night of the town, get some drinks, have fun, do a little bit of gambling, but um, he loses a bunch of money. I found it interesting the scene where. He's, like, waiting to talk to the people who run the place where he lost a bunch of the money, who are, like, Italian mobsters, seems like. Um, I don't know, it's just like, it's just like, well, this this is not that much fun. <laughs> like, like, you gotta wait for these guys, and then they finally come talk to you, and um, they're like, okay, give me your credit cards, I need your driver's license. I need, like, they want to know how much money he makes at his, uh, at his bar slash club um that he owns anyways he owes them i think like 25 grand or something and he already owed some other people some money that he paid off in the beginning like this guy he said he pays off he says he's owed him for seven years or eight years he finally paid it off um so yeah that's kind of the setup for the movie and then later on in the movie those those gangsters want him to do something for them and he doesn't really want to do it, but um, it's a pretty entertaining movie. I know this is a pretty famous movie, 1976. Martin Scorsese is a fan of it. In fact, apparently, this was actually a story idea developed by Cassavetes and Scorsese years previously. So John Cassavetes directed it. He's also an actor. He's in um, uh, Rosemary's Baby. That's probably the most famous. But he's directed a bunch of movies. Uh, I watched some of the A Woman Under the Influence. I think he did before this one. I just didn't think it was that good. I thought it was boring. It's about this lady who is drinks wait she's like crazy and she drinks tons of alcohol and she just stays at home while her husband like he's like a plumber and he goes out and he does his job and she gets all pissed because like he can't spend as much time with her as she wants and i just found i watched like half of that movie i found it boring um i will say this movie's a little long like it's kind of like all right let's let's get to the point here it's like a little dra uh, dragged out. It's a little long. 
Um, I did enjoy the movie overall, but I don't know. I guess that's all just on purpose. That's just how John Cassavetes makes movies. Um, you know, they're like showing the the like the guy that that's 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 uh that that's on the mic. He's like kind of the clown comedian guy, and he's he's saying like these all these bits, and I didn't think they're funny at all. Um. So that's kind of my criticism of the movie. I mean, a lot of like a lot like you know, a lot of it's a lot of it's good. Like I like the stuff when he's out with the with the with the girls on the night on the town. It's fun. Some of the stuff in his club is fun. Uh, his interactions with the mobsters is, I think, the best part of the movie. Definitely. Um, you know, one of the mobsters. I, I've seen him before. Oh, he's in The Killing and Paths of Glory. That's it. I was like, where have I seen this guy? Timothy Carey. Yeah, I was like, where have I seen him? Yeah, Paths of Glory, The Killing. DC Cab. He's in a bunch of stuff. He's kind of one of the head mobsters. Um, so I'll get into spoilers. I don't think there's many spoilers to do though, but cause the, the title says it, that's what they want him to do to pay off his debt is to go and kill this Chinese bookie who is part of, you know, uh, the Chinese mafia in the city it's in san francisco i think because he mentioned the same like, like he's like I, I don't buy alcohol from normal distributors in san francisco or something I forget what he's saying like like he does that to save money or but anyways they um they start coming to his club to kind of lean on him like how are you gonna pay us back we want to see your books see how much money you make he doesn't like any of this I mean, Ben Gazzara is very good in it. Um, it's funny because he is kind of playing Jackie Treehorn. I mean, <laughs> you know, like totally the Coen brothers like this movie. I mean, he's kind of playing Jackie Treehorn. And I just watched The Spanish Prisoner with him in it, too. Because uh, he's, a, he's a good actor. I just haven't seen a lot of the stuff he's in. Um, and it's funny, he almost looks the same from 76 as Jackie Treehorn. It's like 20 years, it's like, oh, what, over 20 years later? Um, but, but yeah, he, and, and they're trying to lean on him. And then finally, they're, they, they like go out to a diner. They go out to a diner and they're like, hey, uh there's this there's there's this chinese bookie we want him dead and uh, like he has a bunch of guards at his house and then he kind of and then they kind of ask him they're like you were in the military right and he's like yeah he's like i was in korea and, and they kind of talk about that he says he killed some people in korea so it kind of establishes like he knows how to use weapons like he knows what he's doing he's a, he's actually a tough guy um, but anyways, he doesn't really want to do it, and then, and then they talk to him again, they beat him up, and then he agrees to do it. Seymour Kazal Kazel is in this, um, oh, he's a Dick Tracy, isn't he a Steve Zitsuit? I really like that movie, I, I should rewatch that movie, that movie's hilarious. I swear he was in that movie. Yeah, Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. Yeah. But he's one of the gangsters that beats up um, Gazzara. Oh, 2019 he died. But uh, Seymour Cazell, good actor. He's in this a little bit. So they, they, so they beat him up. They convince him to do it. He goes and does it. Uh, but a problem happens is he kills the guy, he's in a pool, he sneaks in there without anyone seeing him, but then there's this girl that he didn't see, she sees him kill him, he doesn't kill the girl, because she's just like a teenager, like, you know, he doesn't really want to do that. Some of his goons run in, and, and he kills them too. 
Um, and then he leaves, and um, and then the mob flip out because they're like, okay, now we need him dead. It seemed like the whole time they were just going to kill him. They're like, okay, you go kill these people, and we'll get rid of your debt, but then we're not going to tell you this, but then we're going to kill you just to get rid of this all because they're like, oh, now the Chinese mob wants to kill us and you, so uh, we're going to kill you. That they, they try to kill him. They fail at it. Um, and then he just kind of goes back to his club and runs his club. Um, and I assume he has more dealings with them. The Chinese mob or the Italian mob. But it just kind of, you know, plays out. He's just running his club. That's what he loves to do. And, and then it just kind of ends. Um... But, but like I said, it has like a kind of, kind of a stretched out, um, pace to it. That's kind of my negative, but I don't know. It's, I mean, it's on purpose, you know, it's kind of just like a day in the life of this guy and, um, he ends up having to kill someone. It's the eighth film directed by Cassavetes. And apparently G Gazzara said he hated the original 135 minute cut as it was too long. Wow, I you can imagine. It's already, I think it's already too long, but um Oh, the original theatrical version ran for 135 minutes. I think that's what I watched. About two years after the first film, Cassavetes, a different cut. Oh, wait, no, no, I watched the director's cut, I think. Yeah, it's 27 minutes shorter. I'm pretty sure I watched the director's cut. So I watched the shorter cut even, and I still was like, it's a little too long. But, um, yeah, it's an okay movie. Uh, I liked it. Um, I mainly would just say check it out for Ben Gazzara, especially, you know, if you're a fan of uh, The Big Lebowski, which I am. So, um, but yeah, that's about it though. Um, 1976, the killing of Chinese bookie Ben Gazzara and, uh, see you next time.